Okay, that's an evolator. Is this the, the way to the... the boss? The albedo bosses? Yes, it is, so we need to go the other way. Alright, so we, we get the special trap here, and I'm gonna use it because these guys are dicks. Hey, hey, oh my god, no, 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 go away. Let's just reset that. I would like a mulligan on that. There we go. Alright, I believe these guys have the instant death attack. All battle systems are go. Yes. So that's what I wanted to get to KO Guard for. Because otherwise it just does damage. So we got Byproduct 103, Bioproduct 145, and 172. And they've also got a mountain of HP. So it's time to analyze each one of them. So he's weak to fire, huh? We'll drop uh, precious stones. I wonder if it would be good to bring Ziggy in if they're going to be weak to fire. Because he has meteor swarm. Alright, attack bind failed to do. Alright, this is what I wanted the other one for, just to stop this shit. Oh, somebody who is actually weak against ice. Holy shit! I might have an actual use for chaos. So if I bring Ziggy and Chaos in, will they will they get it done? Well, let's stop him from doing anything. Okay, that's, that's getting annoying. And you, you're weak against... Lightning. Huh. Interesting weaknesses they have. So Saw Dude is weak against fire. No wait, uh, Dude with the arm for Resident Evil 6 is, is uh, weak against um, fire. Saw is weak against ice and then the other dude is weak against light. So Ziggy could hit both fire and lightning. The enemies have 
and then Chaos can hit Ice. Oh, a booster pack. Holy shit, those are rare. Yeah, let's, let's give that to Chaos for the time being. That way he doesn't uh, have to wear a helmet. Just gets uh, extra defense just for existing. What would I like to give him, though? Oh, Chaos has Lightning, too, because he has Heaven's Wrath. Okay. Yeah, this this will uh, work out better. Oh, yeah, you need the, the Defibrillator Vest and stuff. Well, I need to extract that skill for him and uh, Ziggy. Alright, so that's the that's party I'm going with in this uh, area. So we'll have Ziggy be on screen. Alright, tech attacks for Ziggy. We do have a Cross Lancer. Did he learn Executioner? Yes, he did. Okay, so... That's that's his Lightning Technique, so I don't have to use um, Lightning Fist. And then he has Meteor Shot there, so I'm going to give him the Commander's Crest and the, the Double Buster to set him up like uh, Cosmos was. But I am going to use Cosmos for the boss. Oh, you know what? I might give uh, Chaos the, the boost pack. That way... Give him a scope, maybe? Oh my god, you're still level 2? Oh, Confusion Guard is something I need. I don't know about the rest of this. I do need the Defibrillator Vest and the other thing. I'm not sure about Fire 20 here. Damn, Ziggy, your, your footsteps are loud. Field ring, that's another accessory. And that prevents stop. I believe I might need this as well, so we're getting really far on the status effect uh, preventing accessories here. I think this is this is not an exit. Alright, we got them. Do you really think this is a good idea? <laughs> well, I guess it's not a hundred percent, but it can still inflict instant death, so I wanna be on the lookout for that.
Damn! Chaos got him good. I'm guessing that he has resistance to fire since he's uh, weak to ice. Yeah, that's not doing very much damage at all. Well, I don't really need to, to transfer her either points. What's down here? Might as well check it. This is just an empty area? Okay. Actually, before I start shooting that, I want to climb up this. There's something above you and you cannot climb any further. Okay. Not come this way? Are you serious? Why are you so bad, dude? I guess there's no choice but to fight. Xion should be protected against instant death. Actually, does he have Heaven's Wrath on the one attack? Get him, Ziggy. Make them regret all of their life choices. I don't like you guys. I really don't know how I feel about the, the use of negative color. May all your souls rest in peace. Okay, I guess I've got a... Oh, I understand. Well, I want to get all this loot first. That's just to reset this. Or... Actually, what the hell it does it do? I guess since I've been referencing the Yusha series a lot, I guess I should talk about one of the key animators on it, which was Masami Obari. And if you don't know who that is, that's uh, kind of sad. You have to turn in your your um, Mecha fan license and everything because he was uh, really big and influential. He popularized the use of the Obari pose, and you just know it if you see it. I'm gonna put a pick up anyway, just so you know what I'm talking about.
But one of the interesting things is that it kind of mirrors this this series because Zenosaga was created by Tetsuyu Takahashi and Kaori Tanaka, who goes by her pen name Soria Saga, who both got married while they were square. Now, uh, Masami Abari, while he was doing the Yusha series and they were working at Sunrise, he ended up getting married to Masuko Ishida, who did the character designs for the Yusha series up until, I believe... Um, Oh, which one is that one? My brain is failing me right now. I guess I, I can uh, look real quick. Let's go. Meteor shot. Okay, I think Jay Decker was the last one that she did. And then Dagwon came after that, okay. Yeah, I think once, once uh, they got done with Jay Decker, they went on a Dagwon. And she kind of left the whole mecha thing and started working on the, in the uh, Bishoujo uh, girls video game industry for the PC and started doing the illustrations there. And if you look at Jay Decker, um, she really, really made the, the women really hot there. And there's a few episodes, which I, I find this funny because that's a that's a TV show that was made for kids. And there there's a nudity in a couple of the episodes there in Jay Decker. And those are her character designs. And then, you know, after they got married, they went on to... Um, I don't think they made Dan Kuga Nova together because that was like 2007. But I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure Silver Knight Ordian. Also another one with a lot of nudity, but it, but it's a relatively obscure mecha anime. It does have some really cool, cool uh, shot composition, though. But yeah, Dan Kuga is also a really old mecha anime. I think it was Super Robot, but um, Obari pretty much did everything on that one. Is this guy gonna die? I would very much recommend uh, to, to watch Dan Kuga Nova at least, because that one's pretty hype. Actually, I like all of the, the shows he did, but I, this one, I don't know, uh, Ordian, he, Takahashi could have watched that. I think Gravion came out around the same time as, as Zenosaga, so at least the first one. Um, there, there's some references in the second one that anime that came out during 2003 and 2004, they definitely reference that. Okay, bro, could you just stop it? I'm gonna have to make sure Xion doesn't die. Here. Yep, he went right for her, too. Uh, you know, I should put her fire technique on. Is that all she has is fire and... Lightning? Yeah, I think Thermal Blast might uh, perform a little better against this guy. That should be a fire attack, so that should do extra damage. Don't take it too hard. You didn't stand a chance. Now, the latest show that Obari worked on that, uh, I believe it aired in winter of uh, 2024? That's this year, right? It, um, was... Everybody thought it was going to be the, the um, rebirth of the Yusha series because it had uh, the title of Brave Bang Braver or something like that. Bang Brave Favor? Whatever. 
my mind is melted right now. But it was, it was good, but it wasn't what people were expecting out of Obari because he's usually, I want these bouncy titties and, and, uh, cool stances and everything. And that's the thing. And, um, Raven was like the gayest thing I've ever watched. It's even gayer than gay porn, but it's still a good show. So the guy in the, the back is the ice guy, and I think these are the uh, lightning guys. So I want to get Ziggy on his executioner to see if that'll do any additional damage. And of course Ziggy is so fucking slow. As long as you don't disable triangle on Ziggy, I'm good. Or circle. Circle's bit. Oh, fuck you. Okay, so. You know, these guys are making a really compelling argument to uh, kick the shit out of them. Okay, I'm just gonna W item this to, to get rid of all the negative status effects. Which I will use cure alls for this, because I don't know if this is uh, physical or mental. Of course, Ziggy's gonna be in the turn window, so I can't boost him. Oh, we can do Meteor Shot and Executioner. Is that gonna hit the guy in the back, though? Well, it did, but why did it do such little damage to him? He was supposed to be weak to fire. Hell yeah, got him. Wait, you're still alive? Yeah. Let's just remove that. And he gave us slow. Um, is this square square? No, that's gravity well. Oh, that gives us cyclone. Is a square triangle then? No, that's Ether Amp. So we've got triangle square then. That's the only thing it could be on.
Just triangle, triangle would be the, the long attack. Thermal blast, okay. Ooh, that fucked him up. Set that in the high slot. They're dropping a lot of those booster packs. Is this a hint? I might actually use these in the upcoming battle with a W item and stuff. Alright, let's uh, tech attack. Thermal blast. I guess we push shock blade. Might actually want to use Shockblade for the, the upcoming boss battles. Oh, but... Mm. Skill upgrade S. And there's a hole we can jump down in. Alright, Ziggy with his basketball skills. Okay, we can't go in there. Medkit in the door? Reveals that. And we get Decoder 17. Do we have the door for that? We do not. We have 2 and 14. So where would 17 even be? I know 6 is in the final dungeon. Is 17 there as well? Oh yeah, I have to go all the way down because there was a there was an item down there. Which means I have to fight these jerk bags. Nothing but fire weakness, okay. Now that I have Thermal Blast equipped, you're doomed. I mean, would Cyber Kick actually work well here? Ha 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 ha. Good dodge, Ziggy. Um Meteor shot it is. Meteor shot. I gave Juju that eggs that I never used it. What the hell was I thinking? Nice damage. I'm gonna be honest, these guys take way too long to kill. What a jerk. What a jerk. Let's go. Meteor shot. Oh, you know what? I don't. Since I'm gonna use Cosmos in the boss fights, I, I will oh. That's 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 very interesting. I don't really need shock blade. No. S chain will do it all. Hey. 
see if we take him out this way. Precious stones, huh? I'm guessing those are barter items that I can sell. And we get an Ether Pack DX. Now, I believe that makes the Song of Nephilim completely looted. Oh shit, I can't go back that way, can I? Because I did the jump down. Yeah, I have to go through this door to turn. That's, that's what that door's for. Okay. just to reset this platform. I will go from this side just to avoid him. And this is actually the end of the dungeon. You just have to do this one puzzle here. And the hint is over in this room. It says, Song of Nephilim System. It appears that the room next to it has a device... Next to it has a device having something to do with sound. So, yeah, you just have to listen to this to figure out what the, the sound is. And then you have to go into the other room. Does that really say red, blue, blue? What are the other symbols next to red? Uh, I believe I'm probably going to get this backwards. Uh, I believe... Alright, let me, let me just, uh... Now, is this four... Okay, so I think I have uh, green and red backwards. Green Let me try to do this straight from memory. Blue three. And red four. I was just a little too, too hard on the green ones. It wasn't two, it was one. I think that puzzle is a little bullshitty, to be honest. 